Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord, that we may be filled with the everlasting enjoyment of, the, of thy divinity, which the temporal partaking of thy precious blood doth foreshow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. These are the words of the post-communion of today's Mass, which is the Mass of Corpus Christi. And we are saying this Mass today because, well, what is our theme? What are we honoring during this 40 hours? We are honoring the Blessed Sacrament, the body and blood of Christ. However, these words of the post-communion seem to be a summary of all the petitions we should ever have, because what are we ultimately looking for in this life? What directs our judgments and our actions? Well, it is happiness. <clears throat> we are unable to desire something which we see no good in. Everything we do, we do because we foresee some good in it or some good coming from it. As Catholics, we have a goal, a happiness, which we are striving for, which is above any happiness which the world can give. We are working for that everlasting enjoyment of the divinity. We are striving for heaven. And what makes this better is the fact that no one can rob you of this reward. Our Lord says, but lay up to yourselves treasures in heaven where neither the rust nor the moth doth consume and where thieves do not break through nor steal. We ourselves, we are the only ones who can lose this reward, this happiness for ourselves. By, and we do this by committing a sin. And that is why we have been given so many aids to help us overcome temptations and to keep us free from sin. The help from God, which we are focusing on in particular during these days of the 40 hours devotion, is the Blessed Sacrament. God has given us this gift so that we may receive the graces from it to keep our souls in the state of grace. The beauty of a justified soul, a soul, a soul in, the, in the state of grace, is hidden from the bodily eye. Even our understanding is only able to appreciate it very faintly. We know that a soul returning, from this, returning to the state of grace is transitioning from spiritual death to life, from, anger, from the anger of God to his intense complacency, and that the joys of heaven have already started to develop there in that soul which is returning to grace. But we cannot see any of this. However, God sees it, and he is so, it is so pleasing to him that he is willing to come and dwell in that soul. He is willing to come and make his abode in one of his creatures. We, we do sometimes see the effects of being in the state of grace, and particularly in the heroic acts of the saints. The, the saint we have today, actually, Saint Ursula and her companions, how did they have the strength to choose death instead of offend Christ? They were all martyred by the Huns. And how did they, how did they manage to, to choose Christ over death? It is because of the grace they had in their souls helped them to see the happiness they would experience by not offending God. They saw more joy in preserving the life of grace in their soul than preserving the life of their body. And this is what grace does for you. This is why God has given us so many means of obtaining grace, the sacraments, prayers, and especially devotion, devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. One author says that among all these means of obtaining grace, there is none more powerful than the Holy Eucharist. 
Each time we receive our Lord in Holy Communion, we participate anew in all the merits of his redemption, his poverty, his hidden life, his scourging and crowning with thorns. The Holy Eucharist differs from the other sacraments in this, that while the other sacraments bestow upon us one or other of the fruits of Christ's merits, the Holy Eucharist gives us the grace and the merits of our Savior in their very source. The soul, therefore, receives an immense increase of sanctifying grace at each Holy Communion. What happiness this ought to produce in us, and it is a true happiness which can always grow. Consider this tonight, whether you are preparing for Holy Communion or making your thanksgiving afterwards, or just simply kneeling before the Blessed Sacrament, which will be exposed. Consider that the grace you need is there. The, the grace you need for happiness is there. Ask our Lord for an increase in devotion to the Blessed Sacrament, so that you may reap all the fruits from it, which he is so willing to give you. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.